Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Today I'm going to show you the difference between boxing bags. So a lot of you have asked, how do I know what size uh, corners to cut off my bags? And this video is going to explain to you how different sized fabrics and different sized corners will give you a different outcome. So these ones, for instance, are the same height in each of the bags. The boxing is exactly the same in each of the bags, but the side of the width of my fabric is different. So you can see at a glance the difference between the bags there. I'm also going to do a comparison of boxed bags with different sized corners where all the fabric is cut exactly the same. So stick around and I'll show you the difference between different sized corners and the different sized fabrics. Okay, the very first thing that we need to do is take two pieces of fabric and I've just got some upholstery fabric scraps here and I'm, I've got two pieces at 10 inches by 13 inches. So we've got 13 inches across and 10 inches down. All we're going to do here is stitch it together on three sides. So we want to stitch it with a half inch seam allowance down there along the bottom and back to the other side. So I'm going to go and do that with all of the pieces and then we'll come back and measure the corners for the boxing. All right, so my seams are all a half inch seam allowance. Now, when you're doing box bags, it really doesn't matter what your seam allowance is. It can be a quarter of an inch, it can be an inch if you want it to. It's absolutely up to you. But when you're working out what your corners are, it's important that you actually use your seam allowance as your guide for boxing your corners. Now in order to box your corner, we're going to start off with a four inch uh, corner here. So I've got my four inch mark on the ruler just there and then I've got four inches across here. What I want to do is line up the four inches on the stitched line. I don't want to line it up on my, on my raw edges, I want to line it up on the stitched line. If you line up the four inch line across the bottom here and the four inch line on the side here, you can actually draw a square in one go. So your four inch line runs across the stitched line and down the stitched line there. And then we have a beautiful four inch square. Now we will do this on all four sides. And we'll turn this over and do the same thing for the other side. I actually prefer to have templates. So I've actually got, uh, and they're at home at the moment, but I've got plastic templates made up of different sized squares. So I've got one, one and a half, two, two and a half and so on. So if you're doing a lot of boxing and you don't have a specific size, it's a good idea to have some templates made up. Just measure them out, cut them out and then you and write on your template how big they are. Okay, so we've got a four inch square here and this is what we're going to use to box our corners. Now I've gone and done exactly the same thing on all my other fabrics. So this is a four inch. This one's a three inch. So you can see the difference in the sizing between the two. The fabrics are exactly the same size, but the corners are quite different. And then we've got a two inch boxed corner and a one inch box corner. So you can see the difference in size of the boxing and all these bags are cut at the same size. So I'm going to stitch them together and I'll show you what the difference is when, when we finish the corners. So just close up your boxing, put your hand in the bag and open it out, spread that across and you can see where the corner of this bag meets so that's the drawn line that we had earlier we want that corner and the other corner and we'll just open that out you can pin or clip this in place if you need to 
So our four inch box corner, we're going to stitch from this corner here all the way across down to the other corner. And we'll do that for both sides. Just pinch the corners, pull them out. And the only thing we need to do now is stitch from that corner all the way down to this corner. We'll do that on both corners. Before I show you the difference between all the boxing, I'm just going to trim off the corners of these, um, these bags. And then I'll show you the difference between in the sizing between all the bags. So I'm just going to trim that off almost about half an inch. It really doesn't matter. Some of my bags, when I'm doing my supermarket shopping bags, I don't trim this off at all. I keep it on there. And uh, if I'm doing a lined boxed bag, then I will trim them. So I'll go and trim all of these and then I'll show you how they all look. All right, have a look at the side profile of these bags. There's a massive difference, isn't there? All cut at exactly the same size to begin with and the side seams and bottom seams sewn the same. This one is the one inch base, the two inch base, the three and the four inch. So we've got the side seams facing us and you can see how adjusting the uh, size of your boxing will adjust the height of your bag but also the width of the box at the bottom. Uh, the other thing to note when you're boxing a bag if you want to have a bag that has a two inch span across the, the, uh, the width of your bag or the depth of your bag, if you want two inches across there, you only need to have a one inch box at the corner. So having the one inch box there gives you two inches. So just keep that in mind when you're boxing your corners. Now I've got another one to show you. I have uh, done another sample with three inch boxed corners but different sized cuts of fabric. Now have a look at the difference in these bags. The height of the fabric, the 10 inches, is exactly the same in all three bags, but the width of the fa fabric is slightly different. So what I've done here is I've cut two strips of fabric 9 inches by 10 inches, 10 inches being the height. This one was 13 by 10 and this one was 16 by 10. Now the boxing in all three bags is exactly three inches. So a three inch box, you can see this one here because the boxing was actually much bigger than the width of the bag. It's actually made the bag uh, turn around, made it much more long rather than wide. So same size boxing, same height of the fabric and the bags actually still finish up all at the same height but the boxing creates different depths of your bags. So they're your three bags that are all 10 inches in height and all three inches boxed, but give you a completely different outlook. There you go. I hope that has helped you uh, try and understand boxed corners a little bit better and what outcome you will get when you do different sized corners as opposed to uh, different sized fabric pieces as well. So these ones here are all done with exactly the same size fabric, including this one. So you've got the same size fabric in all of those bags, but you've got different size boxing. And in the other one, you've got the same size boxing and the same height fabric, but you've got different widths of fabric. So that is boxed bags explained. I hope that's helped you all. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know about or any videos you'd like me to do, pop a message in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do for you. Catch you next time.